हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल तो टूडेज टॉपिक इज वाउचिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे वाउचिंग इन डिटेल मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडेज लेक्चर इज अबाउट वाउचिंग वाउचिंग मीन्स वॉट टू एज वी नो वाउचिंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यू नो अकाउंटिंग इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑडिटिंग एक्चुअली तो वाउचिंग इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैथड फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग वट ऑडिट एविडेंस नॉर्मली जो भी एंट्रीज होती है वो बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स में पास की जाती है किसके बेसिस पे की जाती है डॉक्यूमेंट के बेसिस पे की जाती है वो डॉक्यूमेंट जो है एविडेंस की तरह एक्ट करते हैं जैसे कि बिल हो गया फिर रिसिप्ट हो गया चेक काउंटर फॉइल हो गया पेन स्लिप हो गया पे रोल हो गया ये सब तो ये जो भी डॉक्यूमेंट्स होते हैं या एविडेंस होते हैं इनको हम क्या कहते हैं वाउचर कहते हैं द सच डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट वाउचर तो वाउचिंग मीन्स अ क्रिटिकल एग्जामिनेशन of such vouchers to so, vouching is the inspection physical inspection of document supporting an entry in any account so it is the act of examining vouchers to establish the genuineness of the transactions recorded a professor dixie has defined vouching as what comparing the entries in the books of account with documentary evidence in support thereof that is known as what vouching Our next topic is aims, objectives, and importance. So, auditing is critical examination of accounts to determine whether they are true or fair and uh, whether they are free from any errors and fraud. So, vouching is said to be the essence of auditing. Without vouching, auditing is impossible. So, vouching is the method of critically examining the document with support the entry in the account. So, vouching is very important as it achieves the Uh, different objectives number of objectives and number of aim so under objectives and aims the first pointer is true and fair so what is the meaning of true and fair vouching helps the auditor to find out whether the entries in the books are true and fair which is the basic objective of uh, auditing so vouching provides audit evidence in respect of the different manner such as like occurrence our first point is what occurrence so vouching help the auditor to find out whether a transaction actually occurred or not second point is what amount so vouching helps the auditor to check whether a transaction is recorded for the right amount or maybe there is some manipulation or something third point is relevant entries so vouching help the auditor to find out whether the entries recorded in the books are relevant or not whether they relate to the concern and to the current accounting year though vouching the auditor can find out whether the entries for income or expenses or asset or liabilities recorded in the books are relevant that is income was really earned by the concern and it pertains to the current year and the expenses were really incurred by the concern and pertains to the current year so the fresh assets are legally owned by the concern and were purchased during the current year or a fresh liability is the legal obligations of the concern and was incurred during that particular year after that our next point is as per standard so vouching helps the auditor to verify whether an item is accounted as per the recognized accounting standard whether they comply the provisions or whether they are opting the policies and practices or not after that next is as per law so vouching ensure that the transaction complies with the given provisions of law for example like the vouching follow the companies act vouching follow the income tax act etc last point is disclosure so vouching helps the auditor to ensure that an item is properly disclosed in the final account as required by schedule 3 of the companies act 2013 for example schedule 3 require the expenses like machinery repairs and repairs to building should be shown separately the auditor can check the, at the time of vouching itself whether repairs are classified according to the requirements of schedule 3 or not so our next topic is errors and fraud so as we seen in other chapters also an important objective of auditing is to what to detect what error and fraud in the accounts so vouching helps an auditor to achieve this objective also so vouching helps an auditor to detect error in recording transaction example for example like error of commission then error of omission and or error of principal etc vouching ensure the arithmetical accuracy of books of account
then vouching also help detection of frauds by manipulation of record thus vouching is very important audit procedure which helps the auditor to achieve both the basic objectives of auditing for example to ascertain whether accounts are true and fair and to detect error and frauds topic is voucher and supporting document entries so what is the meaning of voucher first one as soon as any transaction take place voucher is prepared for giving the details of the transaction thus as soon as कैश इज पेड तो कैश पेमेंट वाउचर इज प्रिपेयर है ना अगर कैश पेमेंट किया है तो कैश का वाउचर प्रिपेयर करना होगा और ये जो वाउचर होगा वो प्रिपेयर होगा एक प्रिंटेड फॉर्म में होगा उसके ऊपर नाम होगा कंसर्न पर्सन का टॉप पे एंड कंटेंट डिटेल्स सच एज लाइक सीरियल नंबर ऑफ द वाउचर फिर डेट ऑफ पेमेंट नेम ऑफ पे हेड ऑफ अकाउंट टू बी डेपिटेड डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट एक्सेट्रा द कैश पेमेंट वाउचर इज साइन बाय द पे टू एक्नॉलेज रिसिप्ट ऑफ कैश बाय द ऑथोराइज ऑफिसर टू इंडिकेट अप्रूवल ऑफ पेमेंट एंड बाय द पर्सन प्रिपेयरिंग द वाउचर आफ्टर दैट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट सो इफ देर इज एनी डॉक्यूमेंट टू सपोर्ट द पेमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ बिल फ्रॉम द सप्लायर तो इट इज अटैच टू द वाउचर एज एन एविडेंस एंड द सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट मे बी एक्सटर्नल और इट माइट बी इंटरनल ऑल्सो तो एक्सटर्नल डॉक्यूमेंट में क्या आ जाएगा परचेज बिल डेबिट नोट ये सब इंटरनल डॉक्यूमेंट में डॉक्यूमेंट में क्या आएगा ये कौन बनाता है ये क्लाइंट हिमसेल्फ प्रिपेयर बाई क्लाइंट हिमसेल्फ जैसे कि पे रोल हो गया विच आर नॉट सपोर्टेड बाई एक्सटर्नल एविडेंस After that, next point is entries. So the voucher is then passed on to the bookkeeper to make an entry in the cash book. So the cash book also contains details such as उसमें क्या होगा serial number होगा voucher का date होगा payment कब किया है फिर name of pay होगा heads of account होगा और amount होगा उसके बाद में है missing vouchers. तो missing vouchers are what? तो when no supporting documentary evidence for any entry in the accounts is available. तो इट इज़ नोटेड डाउन इन द ऑडिट नोटबुक अंडर वॉट लिस्ट ऑफ मिसिंग वाउचर्स तो सम मिसिंग वाउचर्स मे बी अवेलेबल इन अ सेपरेट फाइल उसको हम एग्रीमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक एग्रीमेंट होगा या शोर सर्टिफिकेट होगा वो सब तो इफ मिसिंग वाउचर्स पोर्टेन टू इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्रांजेक्शन इट मे इंडिकेट पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ वॉट फ्रॉड दैन सच मेयर बुक एंट्रीज विदाउट सपोर्टिंग एविडेंस मे बी मे बी शोन अंडर द interest of the company and hence required to be reported in the audit report so if the auditor doubts the genuineness of such transaction so he should qualify his audit report if many or all vouchers are missing for example destroyed by flood or seized by excise department etc the auditor should give a no opinion report in this case after this next topic points to remember कंसीडर इन वाउचिंग पॉइंट्स टू बी रिमेंबर्ड और कंसीडर्ड इन वाउचिंग अब कौन से पॉइंट उसको हमको याद रखना है कंसीडर करना है वाउचिंग के टाइम पे तो फर्स्ट पॉइंट है चेकिंग द वाउचर सेकेंड है चेकिंग द सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट और थर्ड है चेकिंग द एंट्रीज इन द बुक्स तो ये सारे पॉइंट्स को याद रखना है नेक्स्ट इज चेकिंग ऑफ वाउचर हाउ टू चेक द वाउचर तो द ऑडिटर शुड सी द वाउचर शोज द नंबर ऑफ डिटेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट वन इज नेम ऑफ द कंसर्न तो अंडर द नेम ऑफ द कंसर्न विल चेक द डॉडिटर चेक द नेम ऑफ द कंसर्न ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द वाउचर के वाउचर के ऊपर किसका नाम लिखा है वो एक प्रूफ होता है कि ट्रांजेक्शन जो है पर्टिकुलर क्लाइंट का है कोई दूसरे पर्सन का नहीं है उसके लिए सेकेंड पॉइंट है डेट ऑफ द वाउचर तो ये एक प्रूफ होता है कि जो ट्रांजेक्शन है वो करंट ईयर के पहले के नहीं हैं और आगे नेक्स्ट ईयर के लिए नहीं हैं उसके बाद में नेक्स्ट है सीरियल नंबर ऑफ वाउचर so this serial this helps to cross check that all transactions are properly recorded that is no transaction is omitted है ना अगर सीरियल वाइज होगा तो उसे पता चलता है कि सारे जो ट्रांजेक्शन है वो प्रॉपरली रिकॉर्ड किए हैं कुछ भी मिसिंग नहीं है आफ्टर दैट हेड्स ऑफ अकाउंट डेबिटेड एंड क्रेडिटेड सो दिस इज द की एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वाउचिंग द ऑडिटर शुड चेक वेर आर द हेड ऑफ अकाउंट इज करेक्ट according to the basic principles of accounting or not uh, for example debit the receiver and credit the giver etc After that, next है description of transactions and name of the parties involved. So this helps the auditor to understand the nature of the transaction. After that, next point is amounts and figures and words. So the amounts and words helps to prevent alteration of amount and figures, and the amount should tally with the amount as per the supporting document. After this, next point signature 
of authorized official so this proof that the transactions and the entry is what valid if it's signed duly signed otherwise agar signature nahi hai to wo valid nahi hoga invalid ho jayega after that signature of person preparing the voucher so this helps to fix the responsibility for any error in the voucher next is signature of person making entry in day book so this helps to fix the responsibility for any error in making the entries and last point signature of the pay so this is a proof that the amount was actually received by the pay and the pay should sign on the revenue stamp if the payment exceeds rupees 5000 so this help to prevent misappropriation of cash next point is checking entry books so the auditor should check did the entry in the book tally with the voucher in the according to the following pointers like which i mentioned here first one is the client's book so the auditor should check that the book bear the name of the client on the first page first page pe client ka naam hai kya nahi to ye proof hota hai ki jo book hai wo kiske client ke kisi aur ki nahi hai iske baad second point hai date of entry to so date of entry bhi ek proof hota hai ki jo entry ki gayi hai same day pe उस दिन पे वाउचर भी इशू किया होगा तो ये हेल्प करता है प्रिवेंट करने के लिए डिटेक्ट करने के लिए जो फ्रॉड है उसको फिर है सीरियल नंबर ऑफ वाउचर तो द बुक शुड हैव अ कॉलम टू इंडिकेट सीरियल नंबर ऑफ वाउचर सो दिस हेल्प्स टू क्रॉस चेक दैट ऑल द वाउचर्स आर प्रॉपरली रिकॉर्डेड एंड दैट इज नो वाउचर इज ओमिटेड एंड द ऑडिटर कैन मेक अ नोट ऑफ मिसिंग वाउचर और एंट्रीज इन द ऑडिट फाइल टू बी चेक लेटर ऑन देन हेल्प्स ऑफ अकाउंट डेबिटेड और क्रेडिटेड द ऑडिटर शुड चेक or can check that the heads of account and the voucher and the books are what same so this help to detect errors of commission and omission that is wrong heads of account omitting and accounting in the books etc next is quantity so the quantity entered in the stock book should tally with the quantity mentioned in the bill and supporting documents such as chalan gate pass etc so this helps to prevent what errors of commission or fraud last point is amount so the amount in the book should tally with the amount in the voucher so this helps to ensure arithmetic accuracy of the book and that is uh, like to ensure that there are no errors of commission or no errors of omission etc next topic is checking supporting document so in case of whenever auditor is checking supporting document so like supporting external document mein kya aayega suppliers bill should be check in respect of the different point like like this which i mentioned here first is pertain to client the bill should be raised on the client and not any other person or any other concern second is what pertain to current year so the date on the bill is a proof that the bill pertains to the current year and not to the earlier or the next year third point is serial number of the bill so serial number is uh, very helpful determining and to cross check the corresponding entry for payment in ledger account it also helps to detect entry of duplicate bill in the register next is details of transactions so contents of the bill example like nature of item purchase helps the auditor to understand the transaction and determine the proper head of account next pointer is quantity the auditor should check that the quantity mentioned in the bill is exactly same with the other documents such as like delivery chalan then exercise uh, gate pass octo i receive so the quantity should also tally with the goods received not prepared by the stores after that amount so the auditor should carefully check the amount as per the bill etc and it should be tally with the amount mentioned in the voucher as well otherwise if there is a difference then it's called manipulation next is signature of party the bill should be properly signed on behalf of the supplier etc this proof that it is a valid bill and last point is approval of bill so the bill should bear a stamp wo oh, stamp kiska hoga approved ka hoga so this stamp showing that it is approved for payment by the authorized official of the client a purchase bill may bear a stamp received on the store denoting receipt of goods and the bill after payment should also bear a stamp paid to avoid what duplicate payment next is checking of voucher so how to check the voucher so the auditor should see the voucher shows the number of detail for example the first one is name of the concern so under the name of the concern we'll check the auditor check the name of the concern on the top of the voucher ke voucher ke upar kiska naam likha hai wo ek proof hota hai ki transaction jo hai particular client ka hai koi dusre 
पर्सन का नहीं है उसके लिए सेकेंड पॉइंट है डेट ऑफ द वाउचर तो ये एक प्रूफ होता है कि जो ट्रांजेक्शन है वो करंट ईयर के हैं पहले के नहीं है और आगे नेक्स्ट ईयर के लिए नहीं है उसके बाद में नेक्स्ट है सीरियल नंबर ऑफ वाउचर सो दिस सीरियल दिस हेल्प्स टू क्रॉस चेक दैट ऑल ट्रांजेक्शन आर प्रॉपरली रिकॉर्डेड दैट इज़ नो ट्रांजेक्शन इज ओमिटेड है ना अगर सीरियल वाइज होगा तो उसे पता चलता है कि सारे जो ट्रांजेक्शन है वो प्रॉपरली रिकॉर्ड किए हैं कुछ भी मिसिंग नहीं है आफ्टर दैट हेड्स ऑफ अकाउंट डेबिटेड एंड क्रेडिटेड सो दिस इज़ द की एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वाउचिंग द ऑडिटर शुड चेक वेर आर द हेड ऑफ अकाउंट इज करेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग और नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेबिट द रिसीवर एंड क्रेडिट द गीवर एक्सेट्रा After that, next है description of transactions and name of the parties involved. So this helps the auditor to understand the nature of the transaction. After that, next point is amounts and figures and words. So the amounts and words helps to prevent alteration of amount and figures, and the amount should tally with the amount as per the supporting document. After this, next point signature. of authorized official so this proof that the transactions and the entry is what valid if it signed duly signed otherwise agar signature nahi hai to wo valid nahi hoga invalid ho jayega after that signature of person preparing the voucher so this helps to fix the responsibility for any error in the voucher next is signature of person making entry in day book so this helps to fix the responsibility for any error in making the entries and last point signature of the pay so this is a proof that the amount was actually received by the pay and they pay should sign on the revenue stamp if the payment exceeds rupees 5000 so this help to prevent misappropriation of cash cash sales next topic is the auditor should check the special point for cash sales in addition to those explained earlier like first thing he will examine the system of internal check to find out loopholes which may lead to you know misappropriation and uh, he find out uh, the procedure for issuing cash memos and same time he verify the cash sales with carbon copies of cash memo and uh, after that he will trace cash memo into cash sales summary book and then the total into the cash book so tally the details of cash memo with the details of what entries in the books and check calculations in the cash memos and afterwards he examine original cash memo which are cancelled and reconcile uh, reconcile the cash sales with the stock registered uh, after reconciling the cash uh, sales with stock register next thing he will reconcile stock of blank cash memos and after that last step is to or check the entries in cash book with print out from automatic cash register i hope you like this video if you like this video please share subscribe and comment and for future update please press the bell icon 